there's huge television coverage tonight of the Europa League action in Glasgow what a night it's like one of those massive games Celtic have them and have had them for years Rangers have them and have had them for years this is another one this time at the home of uh, Rangers at Ibrook Stadium in Govan um, Rangers host Benfica tonight the tie is level at 2-2 two, two. anything could happen here but of course Rangers want to get to another final having got there relatively recently to Seville where they lost uh, to uh, Eintracht Frankfurt of course they did I was there I saw it but can they go all the way in this one Philippe Clement um, the, the Rangers head coach is to a degree tempering expectation we're not naive we know that Benfica has a really talented squad with a lot of experience also so we know it would be a really big surprise if we could take out Benfica. But we're really hungry to do that. Really hungry to do that. So he tempers it, Simon, and you'd expect him to do that. I mean, where do you stand on this? Uh, obviously, th there's some decent, more than decent clubs in there. Liverpool being one. Yeah. Roma, damn it, being another. Yeah. I was hoping Brighton would see them off. Go on, Brighton, win that game 5-0 tonight. <laughs> but can Clement do what Gio van Bronckhorst couldn't? Difficult. And, and win it. Difficult um, because he is unlikely to face Eintracht Frankfurt in a final. He's more likely to face somebody like Liverpool. And I think there is a difference between the quality of Liverpool and the quality of Eintracht Frankfurt. I think we deal with the here and now, which is overcoming Benfica and worry about what comes next as a result of draws and opportunities because beating Benfica in isolation in its own right is a, is a very commendable and shot in the arm for Scottish football because you're beating sides that have got great heritage and great pedigree um, and are recognisable names. So whilst, you know, not winning things isn't something that you want to consider, I think it's unlikely that Rangers will win this competition. Mm. But I do think that Rangers can win the SPFL and that is probably an even bigger prize for them um, than ultimately winning a European competition. But if they were to win this thing... I mean, yeah, Celtic great. won the European Cup in 1967. Rangers yeah. won the Cup Winners' Cup in 1972. Aberdeen won the Cup Winners' Cup yeah, it's quite uh, and the Super Cup in 1983. Different landscape. And that's been it. Yeah, but, you know, if my aunt was my uncle. The point is, is that it's a very yeah, difficult... it really put Scottish football on the map if well, they could find a way of winning well, it. Well, on whose map? Um, to what end? Your I mean, map. Well, great. Your map I mean, down here. Well, yeah. I, I what think does the, Scottish well, club I, never I, do? I think the first... tiny no, no, little no, no, league no, up there. No, 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 no. I know you don't think that, to be fair to you, because you've taken yourself no, up there. I, I do think the SPFL is, is a pseudo-pub league, but I don't think Rangers... Oh, 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 right then. But I do. I'm sorry. I know you won't like that, but I do. Pseudo-pub league? I do. I think the quality be out beneath Rangers and Celtic. Did you watch a pseudo-pub game when you were at Ibrox watching no, 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 let me, let me qualify my observation. That between Rangers and Celtic, you know, I didn't think the quality was great on that day, by the way. It wasn't a great game. Well, sorry about that. But I do think that the, uh, the, the, the prestige and, and style and value of Rangers and Celtic is undeniable. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the rest of the league. I'm talking about the, the rest of the structure inside the SPFL needs better investment, needs better players, and needs Scottish football to be producing the kind of players that it once produced before yeah. and getting back into that fabric. I'd like to see more funding in Scottish football. I'd like to see clubs have better facilities, and I'm sure they, they themselves would want it. Yeah, I agree. But in terms of <clears throat> profile, status, reputation, what could a Scottish triumph in Europe do? For that part of the world, well, okay. Let's Other look, than lift well, it. Let's let's look at the reality of what it will do. Do you believe, or does anyone believe, it will increase the opportunity for Scottish teams to rinse more money out of television broadcasters? But it, it, it might because it puts them on the map better. Maybe. I did, uh, you know, getting to a final would also do do that. Playing in the Champions League and having a valuable contribution and being accepted now through the Champions and rightly so, by the way, in, instantaneously into the draws, uh, into the group stages, sorry, of the Champions League, albeit it's changing, I concur, understand that, but they'll still be there. All of that's added validity and none of it's made a difference to the Scottish distribution of, of broadcast deals. They can't get to get, they get a packet of chewing gum and some gobstoppers in commercial terms in value and what they're able to achieve and that might in part be to do with the people that are running their leagues. Yeah, but um, if, it's, if, if Rangers were to win this, I've got it, and, and I'll caveat that, I don't think they will. No. But if they were to go all the way and win it in Dublin... Um, be great. In terms of profile, it would change people's perceptions. No, it wouldn't. Of Scottish football. Who's, what people? The, the, the television the, broadcasters. Well, you've just called it a pub league. They've emerged from a pub league and win a European trophy. But Are you kidding? But tragically, no one disputes the validity and the, um, the credibility of Rangers and Celtic. I'm not talking about Rangers and Celtic. And if, I tell you what, if, if 
Hearts went and won a European competition, or Dundee, or whoever else is in that league, <coughs> not Aberdeen because they're bottom of the league or close to it, um, then I'd say, well, actually, that increases the validity of that league and it actually makes it more commercial. Viable. But when Rangers and Celtic do things, it's almost baked into the thinking that they're the only people in Scottish football that do anything. Now, that's not fair, but it does happen to be, in part, the only value besides moments in time, moments in time where yeah. Aberdeen punched and Dundee United punched. But most of the time, it's been Rangers and Celtic. Now, at this moment in time, we've got a similar argument brewing in England yeah. with Manchester City dominating in English football. But you've got a big six in English football. You've got clubs that have been around. Uh, How we that get one... that? It's totally so, different. So, the, so the, I'm, I'm pushing back against your argument that anybody other than Rangers and Celtic, or Rangers and Celtic, more to the point, winning something in European football automatically changes the landscape for Scottish football. It won't. It won't, but it would help. I mean, you, well, it you, might be a disadvantage. You, you cited no. one or two examples there of what's gone on in the past, and it, it, what happened in the past. And I was there. I was in Gothenburg in Sweden when Dundee United took on uh, IFK Gothenburg yep. in a two-legged UEFA Cup final, but they couldn't get there. They couldn't get there. They went out. They, they, they lost the thing in the second leg at Tannadice. But it made people sit back and think, Dundee United. Really? Did this it? was Dundee United who were who were eliminating Barcelona yeah, but, at the but, time. But we know, and Sir Alex and Aberdeen, and, and that's great. Beat Real Madrid. It's, it's wonderful to we get. We yearn for these times to come it, back. It's wonderful to get a pat on the back, right? And that's great. But no one's no one wants a pat on the back. What they want is a big bag of money. What they want is somebody to say to them, oh, this is a wonderful league. We must now pour oodles amount of money in it so you can actually enhance the opportunity for other sides to be more competitive in it and facilities to be improved and players to be retained rather than needing to be sold to English clubs to be able to prop up your own finances. All of that sort of stuff I agree is, that, is more to, meaningful. To do that, you've got to change the perception of the game there. And this would help change no, the perception. Because they're a long way off no, getting to a final it's, No, it's not because it would be the same old story, Rangers and Celtic. And that does not alter the parameters of the league. Everyone will turn around and say, well, that's to be expected to some extent that Scottish teams like Rangers and Celtic are successful in Europe. It's an outlier, granted, and it's credibility for Rangers and Celtic, but it does nothing for anybody else in the league. All it does is support the argument that Scottish football is propped up by Rangers and Celtic. And if there was no Rangers and Celtic and someone was able to lasso them, get a shepherd's hook and drag them down to the English leagues, they'd be gone quicker than a quick thing from Quickland. Having said that, I know you, and you've you, you've sort of adopted Rangers in some um, strange way as as a club that you like. No, I've always liked Rangers. Um, I like both of them. I think they're both remarkable football clubs. And I grew up watching Celtic, and of course when Dalglish Glees transferred from Celtic to take over from Kevin Keegan and Danny McGrain was playing there, yeah. and you watch these great players like Jimmy Johnson, and you look back at the times when Rangers were in ascendancy during the early 90s when Sooners went there, and you think to yourself, these are great football clubs with great heritage, but that's a different argument. Yeah. Yeah. That's not what we're talking about. Let's see what Rangers are made of tonight when it really counts at Ibrox. Can they do it? They're up against Benfica. And I hope they do. And uh, this isn't a Benfica of old. This is a Benfica who have frailties. Of that, there is no doubt. Can Clement's men exploit them? Let's hope that they do. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.